Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. And I believe um, you were given a rundown on like what I'm interested in. Um, I wouldn't say a rundown. <laughs> okay. So let me fill you uh, in with what I require for my project. So I am looking at a multi-point uh, point lock uh, where um, I can access it only on the inside, as in like I want a thumb turn with a lever on the inside. And on the exterior, there is no uh, trim or lever or anything at all. And I know that um, Slage, uh, Slage has a product, uh, I think the 9200 series, which works well with wood uh, doors. So, but then this is more for commercial application, right? So I'm just trying to see um, if there are any other bra brands um, that would also fa fit the same requirements. Well, other manufacturers make the same multi-point locks. It's variations on a theme at that point. No, it's just that like they quite a few manufacturers do the multi-point uh, locks, except like they don't have that exit type of function option as an option. Whereas Lake is the only one that has that option with the exit function. So that's where I'm like you that's, know. That's not accurate not able at all. To find. Oh really? So okay then. Who, who, I'm not sure you, where I'm getting. What other lock manufacturers did you look at? Well, I was given MTech, and then like in even in MTech, um, you know, like uh, I looked at uh, they they say it's a non-keyed fixed handle outside, operating handle inside, or something like that. So that is all the I don't know if um, I'm reading it wrong. Because, you know, I like, more, you know, what the project requires a modern um, type of levers, and I'm okay with, like, choosing from a few. But the option I was given is a non-keyed Euro profile thumb turn inside, okay? So, and I okay, do have so a Okay, so hold on, one. hold on. Let me understand that. Mm -hmm. Non-keyed, what was the rest? Euro profile. Euro profile. Okay, so Euro profile is something that you're not going to get in North America when it comes to commercial locks. If you want a Euro profile, you'll be dealing with Great Britain, Europe, Australia. Um, now, let me correct you. This is not the commercial application. Sorry. This is the uh, residential application. So that's not our strong suit at all. Um, I don't have my finger on the pulse of a lot of residential manufacturers. That's okay. Well, but if I'm you have any with. other, no, any other, uh, even if it's commercial side, I'm fine. I just want to see if there are any other products in the market apart from Schlage with that exit function because I'm not seeing yes. any, like, you know, when I type in or because I'm a commercial designer, but this uh, particular lock I'm looking for is my own, for my own personal project. And I don't mind like putting in a commercial with a residential project, but I just want to see if no other manufacturer has that kind of an option. That's all. Yeah, as I said earlier, others do. Sargent, um, Corbin Ruswin, Yale, uh, they're all going to have multi-point locks that will give you mm -hmm. a single knowing act to exit. Okay. Can you repeat that? Single? Single knowing mm -hmm. act you're going to do one thing to get out not two things schlage and the other companies they make levers that are reasonably decorative schlage has a few dozen choices of levers uh, as does yale and sergeant they there's going to be more from sergeant than you care to see there's there's dozens and dozens of them <clears throat> surely there's and something the price that you point can... is sergeant is cheaper compared to schlage it's all going to be on par. Yale would be a little bit expensive, but it's all going to be on par. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're talking about an LM ninety two hundred, um, now mm -hmm. is not the time to wonder why it's so expensive. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So is that uh, 
so you used a different term which I have not come across. Uh, we have heard of one-sided and keyless and all that. But you used a different option. So can you tell me, like, when you're saying no, single knowing means K-N-O-W-I-N-G? Is that what the... Uh... Yeah. Yes, ma'am. K-N-O-W-I-N-G. Okay. So you know why exit devices exist? It's to save people's lives, naturally. And there was a mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fire in the late 19th century that caused the birth of the invention of the panic device. Code mm. requires a single knowing act to exit, meaning... I do mm -hmm. one thing. I don't turn the deadbolt and then turn the key to get out. I do one thing. And what you want okay. is what's called emergency egress. And through emergency mm -hmm. egress, you only engage in a single, meaning one, act that you're conscious of to, to mm -hmm. exit mm -hmm. or to egress. And, yeah. um, and that's what that means. Did you know that? Okay. Single knowing act. Okay, that makes sense actually. Like you know, when I've read codes in the commercial section. Um, okay, that okay. So can you give me a Sergeant um, product code that is um, compare like similar to the LM9200, please? No, no. If you go into the Sergeant book and just look up multipoint, and you'll you'll find the part numbers. There's not too many choices there. I. Uh, you you need to hire you need to hire a hardware specifier to provide these, or just call Sergeant directly. Um, that would be the best way to do it, so that they can you know promote their product to do so. Um, I, I okay. distribute for all of them, but it's it's just a trip to their catalog. That's all it is. Okay. You know. Okay. No, the it's only... just that I needed to give this to my specifier. <laughs> That's all. Oh, oh, you're doing that person's work. Okay, that's not good. Um, because the only thing you the, have... nobody is willing to work with me on this, my contractor I am. as well as the door guy, and you are the only one, thank you. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, if you open up the Schlage catalog and search for the part number LM9250, you're going to find the, you're going to find it. It's, and, and there's only, there's only seven options. There, there's only seven functions that you could choose from, and you're probably only going to choose from two of the seven then no i actually um have it as in the lm9225 which is the exit option so schlag i was very uh how to say like you know it was pretty easy um uh, but what is it like um uh, the sergeant i have not so maybe it's just a matter of going online and looking into that okay you, you got and you can also live chat them and just say, listen, what is your equal to the Schlage LM9225? They will come back with a part number and you're off to the races. Then it's simply a matter of selecting your, your design, your trim and your finish. Mm -hmm. Um, and your door thickness, your door height, things of that nature. It's, it's too easy for a learned lore master such as yourself. No, I actually, I'm just learning the basics of it. I have one question for you, and I will let you go. And then I really appreciate, you know, your patience in answering my question. So just in case, it's the slate. And I have, uh, you know, the sergeant I'm not able to work with, right, with that um, option in mind. The 9225, um, will it work with an um, – I know it works for a wood uh, door, Okay. The door I am getting is um, exterior grade laminated OSB uh, with a birch veneer. It's a four feet by eight feet door. So will it work for that door? So there was one word that I didn't understand, and I think you were referring to the core before birch. Yes. What was the word? It's an a OSB. Um, oh, OSB, Orient strand board. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to say. It's an exterior grade one, that's all. Yeah, I'm going to say that that boils down to the people who are making the door. If they have the skill to do this, then it will work. I've manufactured doors in a prior lifetime, and I can tell you that I could mm -hmm. certainly build a door for a multi-point mm -hmm. lock with an OSB core. Your door supplier might say, I can't build it. I, I can't build it. Mm -hmm. We don't manufacture doors in that regard. Mm -hmm. Um so that might that might be a problem. No, they Why are not... okay with uh, multi-family locks, as in multi-point locks. They are not saying they won't do it because the one they recommended is Rockwell, and I was not happy with the product because one, it doesn't have good reviews, 
as far as I could find out. And two, um, you know, it didn't give me the option of not having a lever on the outside. Yeah, you know, those so are residential locks. Just, Rockwell, yeah, and I'm not yeah. even sure if Rockwell still makes those. I thought they discontinued their door locks. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I no, have, they I, do actually have it, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, if they can manufacture for that type of multi-point lock, they can certainly manufacture it for, for a commercial multi-point. It's the same concept. Um, okay. I would suggest that you not use OSB. Use what we would call um, timber strand. Uh, it's also known as structural lumber, timber strand. Because OSB is, there, there's a product called timber strand. We would call it LSL. If you search timber strand, all one word, mm -hmm. it's made by Weyerhaeuser. Mm -hmm. It's an engineered structural lumber. Door manufacturers mm -hmm. routinely use that product in door construction because it is outrageously capable of strength, not warping, lasting exterior applications, uh, not absorbing moisture. So you should change the door core to timber strand or something like it. I can't speak to OSB, but OSB is not what you build doors out of. That's I would be very suspect of that. See, the problem is I when I ask for a four by eight door, immediately the price point jumps from any other uh, forty two inch door is the max they are willing to do. Okay, and this particular uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar uh, with Seattle or Washington, and uh, here like you know if I wanted a silent rail door with a wood as in like um not laminated like a simpson company right like which is like uh, it's got uh, a silent railroad for the same size they are charging six thousand dollars <laughs> why do why do you need style and rail that that's why this is like you know this guy said like you know he will do it with osb but i don't know what the timber strand is i will lo take a look into it what and see what? if the Sorry? What's special about your door? It's just the wide width. You know, I want a four feet wide door, and if I want the four feet wide, um, you know, the price jumps to like if I wanted a solid wood core and all that, right? Then it jumps to six thousand dollars or something. And it, this uh, the sa sa same door guy, he's willing to give me a style and rail which is supposed to be like uh, what you're. I think is what you're talking about, where it is. Um, you know the one that does not work with uh, over time with weather and all that. Yeah, style and rail. Do you want do you want just a flush door, just a flat door? Yeah, that's all I want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You need to email me your door requirements because my middle name is Wood Door. So, um, I think there's a mistake. I think that the people you've contacted do not understand the manufacturing and distributing and machining of wood doors. And I'm happy to step in and, and provide you a quote for exactly what we've discussed, including machined to any multi-point lock you want, because you wouldn't use style and rail at all for multi-point. Only time style and rail is used is when you are gonna have glass or louvers or panels. If you want a flat door, you cannot use style and rail. It's the wrong construction. So, I would quote you a 4080, 4090, 5010, okay. 6012, whatever you like in the size mm -hmm. exactly and the veneer that you want, prep the way you want. Uh, you just happen to talk to somebody who I, I literally manufactured doors in the late 90s. We were able to produce about 100 a day with my with our shop. So I do understand the process. So just just lucky coincidence or just coincidence, maybe not lucky. I'm so glad. I've been like literally breaking my head on different walls, I would say, the whole of yesterday and today. Yeah. I was at my wit's end. I'm so glad I talked to you. I will take your email if you don't mind, and I will let you know the quote. I, I will like, you know, just forward you the quote I've got from um, whoever I got from. And, uh, you know, you can probably get all the information you need as well as, like, if you need additional information, I'm willing to, you know, let you know whatever you need. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to see what your what your baseline is. So my email is the word sales mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. A as in architectural, B mm -hmm. as in builders, Supply, yes. S U P P L Y. Mm -hmm. Dot net. Dot net. And my name is Richard.
Richard. Okay. You will get an email from me within the next few minutes. And um, is um, do you is it too hopeful for me to get, um, get a response by the end of the day by any chance? Only with a time machine would that be possible. Uh, me getting a quote from the factory generally requires 24 to 48 hours. I can give you an idea of what a door would cost, but okay. I just – we'll get the quote from the factory. Okay. All right. And uh, – okay. 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 I'll wait. I'll wait to hear from you then. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for calling. All right. Thanks a lot, Richard. Happy yep. – happy. Yes, you made me – you made my day, I would say. Thank you. I look forward to earning that. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.